RGD has recently released new report pages for genes, QTLs, and strains, as well as new interactive pathway diagram pages and an updated ontology browser. Using the CIP11 B1 gene report page as an example, we will look at the new layout of the report pages. We'll first look at the gene page tabs. The general tab is selected by default and contains most of the information in RGD about the gene. The second tab, Arrays IDs, contains lists of microarray probe IDs associated with the gene. Returning to the general tab, the first half of the report page is a summary section. This section of the page is broken into nine different areas. The first of these states the gene symbol, name, and species. To the right of the gene name is the Quick Links box. This gives you access to information about the gene and genomic views of it in a variety of genome browsers and external database websites. Just below the Quick Links is the RGD Record Metadata Info box. It lists useful information about the gene, such as its RGD ID, the date the record was created in the database, and the status of the record. Back over to the left-hand side is the description of the gene, which is constructed on the fly using an algorithm which evaluates all of the ontology annotations that currently exist for the gene and presents the information with the best evidence. Gene type and RefSeq status are both imported from the Entrez Gene database. Aliases, listed as, also known as, are either imported from Entrez or assigned by RGD curators based on the nomenclature used for a particular gene. Orthologs contain links to the corresponding gene in other species. RGD stores data for rat, mouse, and human genes for the orthologous relationships between them for comparison. For rat, the orthologs will contain the mouse and or human ortholog with links to the corresponding RGD gene pages. The position section contains information about the gene's chromosomal position relative to several genomic, genetic, cytogenetic, and RH maps. For convenience, the latest assembly is listed above the section and highlighted in blue to allow users to see which position is most current. The last entry in the summary section is the model, which displays an image of the gene showing the intron and exon structure. The image is a link giving users one-click access to this gene in RGD's GBrowse tool, allowing exploration of the gene's structure and genomic neighborhood. The bottom half of the report page is broken into five smaller sections, annotation, genomics, sequence, strain variation, and additional information about the gene. Each of these sections includes subsections shown as brown title bars, which list the type of data using a green plus icon. By clicking on the green icon, you can open the subsection and view the data. To hide the data, simply click on the red minus icon in the same title bar. The annotation section has been updated and now includes subsections assigned to the gene organized by ontology type. They contain information about inclusion of the gene in disease portals and a list of curated references. When you click on the disease annotation title bar, you will see a list of disease terms associated with that particular gene. In this case, it lists the ontology annotations for CYP11B1. More information about each annotation can be found by either clicking on the term to go to the annotation detail page or clicking the toggle detail summary view link above. In addition to the evidence code, which supports the association between the gene and the ontology term, the expanded information includes a link to the reference from which the annotation was curated and more detailed data to support or augment the annotation. To find more information on ontologies and ontology annotations, take a look at the Introduction to Biomedical Ontologies video series on the RGD website. RGD Disease Portals is a new feature to the annotation section. Gene pages are linked to each disease portal in which they appear. Links access the portal for which the gene is annotated. For example, CYP11B1 appears in the diseases page of the RGD cardiovascular portal. This means CYP11B1 is annotated to one or more disease ontology terms related to the cardiovascular disease. The references subsection lists all of the curated references associated with the gene. Citations link to the RGD reference reports. 
From there, you can follow the link to PubMed and, when available, to the full text of the article. The genomics section contains information about the gene's position and genomic neighborhood. When a researcher designates one or more gene as candidates for a quantitative trait locus, or also known as a QTL, RGD curators make an association between the gene or genes and the QTL. This information appears on the gene page in the Candidate Gene Status subsection. Here, CYP11B1 has been designated as a candidate gene for two QTLs, BP61 and BP335. The comparative map section shows the position of the gene in all three species, human, mouse, and rat, allowing easy comparisons between the position and size of the gene across species. If you click on the plus sign labeled markers, it displays a list of simple sequence length polymorphic markers which have been assigned to this gene. All available position data for each marker is displayed. As for the gene maps, the name of the current reference assembly is shown in bold blue type. When a marker maps to multiple places in the reference assembly, all of these positions are given. A new addition to the genomics section is the QTLs in region. This section of information lists all QTLs whose positions overlap this gene in the current reference assembly. When you open the tab, notice that the top of the section are links named Full Report, CSV, TAB, Printer, and GViewer. Full Report takes you to the RGD search results page, which includes more information about each QTL and links to the respective QTL report pages. The CSV and the TAB links download the list of QTLs in either comma-separated CSV or tab-delimited TAB format that can be saved to your computer and or sent to other tools for analysis. The printer link allows users to print only the list of QTLs. GViewer sends you to RGD's Genome Viewer tool where you can see these QTLs in the context of the entire genome. Compress the QTLs in the region table and when you open up the related rat strains, it lists and links you to report pages for strains which have been specifically linked to the gene during the process of strain curation. In this example, two congenic strains which contain the gene are listed. The sequence section provides links to information about the genes nucleotide and protein sequences. The reference sequences section lists data for all of the NCBI RefSeq sequences associated with a particular gene. If a gene has multiple known splice variants, which are included in the NTRAS gene record, these will appear in this section with data about the chromosomal position of each. The penultimate section of this report page is the strain variation section, which contains data on strain-specific variations discovered through the genomic sequencing of specific strains. Currently, there is data available for three hypertensive strains, FHH, SS, and SHR. Finally, the additional information section gives you links to more resources about the gene and information about its nomenclature history. The external database links section includes links to outside information including links to gene, transcript, and protein data at Ensemble, Uniproc KB, Interpro, KEG, and more. For more information, you can click on the Contact Us link located at the top right-hand corner and bottom center of every RGD webpage.